It's a danger zone. You in the middle of a world only a banger home. Aisha, mm -hmm. what's going on with you? Hello, how are you? I'm fine. I'm good. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Aisha. Where you from? Your age? Give us the rundown. All right. I'm from Philly. Okay. Uh, grew up in Deford, and I'm residing in Camden right now. All right. I'm 42 years old, and I said I got 11 children. 11 kids? Okay. Yes, I, do. I, I ain't going to lie, Beautiful. Aisha. You look way younger than 42. What you do? <laughs> you got a diet plan? What you do to stay no, looking I work young? Out. I you like work walking. Out? I played sports all my life. Okay. I love playing sports, and yeah, I do a lot of walking. I heard, I heard that going for walks is very, very beneficial. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So, you know, Deford and Camden is two, two different totally. environments. It definitely is. Two For those totally. that don't know about Deford, Deford is like middle class suburb. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Camden, y'all know about it's, Camden. Right. It's the trenches. That part. So, yeah, it is. how that turnaround happened, Aisha? Um, I guess, uh, how can I put it? Uh, I guess the moving situation. Okay. I, left, I moved from there. And came here, and it was a little bit cheaper to mm -hmm. get a house. I needed a house for my mm -hmm. children. I was in an apartment and happened to find one out here, and it was it was good where I was at. I was yeah. in Parkside, so okay. I didn't know too much about Camden or nothing. It was all right. In Parkside where you I was You basically were seeing what was affordable and that what part. wasn't. Yeah. Okay. That part. And from there, I just sticking it out. My kids went and go to KIPP. I love that school. It's a good school. KIPP? You know, okay. I heard of KIPP. Yeah. And All right, that's about it. That's it. That's how I ended up here. All right, and I do like you said. It is like night and day. The yeah. school systems with everything is is definitely different. Absolutely, and people people know that. I talk to a lot of people, and so like, well, this ain't supposed to be like this. But mm -hmm. it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, Aisha, how something. Camden been treating you, man? Um, I can say truthfully and honestly, with Everything that is going on and, and you know, with things that you hear, Camden is really, every people is friendly. They good, they, they good people. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's good, it's, it's, it's love. I can honestly say that. It's, it's a lot of love out here. It's just, you know, it ain't what you do, it's how you do it, how you go about things. Yeah. But they do, they show a lot of love out here. It's, it's all right. Yeah. Can't say too much about how to- Everybody's not bad people. people. Right, that part I mean, is not. Yeah. Have you ever done yeah. one of these interviews before? No, I haven't. You haven't? I haven't. Uh, Never. I'm really nervous right now. Really, it's okay. <laughs> We're just having a conversation. Right. That's all. You're mm -hmm. having a great conversation. So right. a little bit about yourself, man. What's your favorite food to eat? Mm, I love eating. I love food. All types of foods. I love um, Italian. It's my, it's my favorite. I love Italian foods. I like the pastas and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I cook. I love cooking. I okay. love Cooking all types of stuff, everything. All right, that's what's up. Yeah, and that's why I, mean. I love, like I said, pastas and uh, stuff shows, all that stuff. I love it. I love okay. it. Okay. I eat. I'm gonna let these guys go. That's what's up. So you still cook and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I see your necklace. It says "Mom" on there. <laughs> yeah. That One of your uh, kids gave it to you, or yes, what? My daughter. Your daughter. It to me. Okay, it's nice. It's nice. Thank you. Yeah. So. Thank you. You have any uh, vices, Aisha? You know, bad habits, you know, that you will probably want to kick in the future or anything? Uh, truly, I think I'm, I'm, uh, I just uh, stopped smoking cigarettes. Okay. I was smoking cigarettes. I was so bad on cigarettes. And, yeah. um, I had, you know, everybody smokes their little bit of weed. That's, uh, you know, yeah. and that's it. That's been, if anything, I, I'm, uh, that's when I'm going to try to kick in. Start getting into, in the, in the, um, you know, more positive things on yeah. the church and stuff like that. All right. Yep. Do you go to church now or used to? You I regular? used to. Okay. I don't go now. I All need right. to. Yeah. I want to. All right. Yeah. Do you think, are you, do you think you're at the, you know, the position in life that you want to be? No. Or you think you've got more work still? More work. A lot. A lot of, a yeah. lot, lot more work. I'm definitely not in a position in my life where I want to be at all. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not. I'm not. Um, I need a little better, harder stability yeah. situation. That's. 
what I'm going through for me and my kids. Whatever. For you and your kids. Yeah, yeah, you got 11 of them. Yeah. You got any older kids, young adult kids too? Yeah. My, okay. oldest, my oldest is 23. My youngest is eight. All right. But they are mostly, oh, the only, I got an eight, a nine-year-old. The rest is in their teens. Okay. Teens and up. All right. How you feel? How you feel about the fentanyl and the trank hitting the city and the xylazine? It's, it's getting ridiculous. I usually like ridiculous is not the word. Every day I see people, I have to call to get them get them help. They're they're um, OD'd or getting them getting. Uh, what is that? The Narcan stuff in it. It's every single day. Yeah, that is definitely bad. I had I had friend a friend of mine that. Um, I guess was dealing had some stuff going on and she got locked up her mm -hmm. granddaughter got to that stuff scares it scares me i know a lot of yeah i see that all day every day and this yeah that's definitely anybody that you close to feel victim to the you know the hard drugs in the yeah, city yeah yeah i know a lot of yeah i know a lot of people yeah of people. me too and it's it's hard though it, it, it's hard they, it definitely they put it there for for to be for the good but it just turned out to be yeah this is just not good at all it's not good then they get sick you get sick and you don't you go through the withdrawal situations and people just doing any and everything just to get it it's mm -hmm. hard i see it i see i talk to a lot of people i try to help who i can and mm -hmm. who I, you know I, I do have my hand. I wear my heart on my sleeve I when I see, right. see that. It's good I, to have great citizens out here, man. Right, right. Oh, man. I try. I try to do anything I can for anybody. Yeah. For anybody, but I do see that that pain. I know people that I, I my friends that I have to have their, you know, kids sometimes just so they can, you yeah. know, be good and don't be around their kids like that yeah. sometimes and yeah. stuff like that. How was growing up for it. you though, Aisha, as a kid? How was your childhood? Lovely, I guess. I okay. loved it. I missed. I missed my childhood days. I um, I grew up in this endeavor, like mm -hmm. I said, and I had a lot of. I was um, I had a lot of friends and and people. I loved it coming up. We yeah. played uh, you know, played games, our own little games, and um. You know, running around, I I just loved it. We used to go, and where we lived at, it's the pit. We mm -hmm. had a pit, and everybody used to go back there, swearing we're hunting and things like that. Fishing, I love fishing. Oh, yeah. Coming up fishing, yeah, we had fishing a lake in the back of our house. I love fishing. Oh, that's a lake. Uh, I would have been yes. jealous. Yeah, the, the old yeah, the old man. He's just an old. Used to be an older guy. He used to pay us twenty five dollars to bring him snapper turtles. Mm. We used to be on there catching them things. Catching them right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's totally different in here. It's totally. It's like night and day but yeah. my childhood i believe i i loved it i loved my childhood coming up yeah. you ever interact with the homeless people out here yes yeah yes like, what's, your, what's your thoughts on them that's out in the streets man nowhere to go what's your thoughts on the homeless out here man the thoughts is that i wish i could do whatever i could do to to help them i try you know Anytime I see if they need anything, I, I, I give it to them. I talk to them. I have conversations with them a lot, a lot. I talk to so many people in this city and hearing their stories and, and you know, you know, talk, and I don't I don't give nobody advice on, on anything, but I do talk, you know, and listen to what mm -hmm. they say. But, yeah, that's that's hard, too. I come and bring food sometimes, clothes. They ask me for clothes. That's I'll great. Bring, the you know, the girls clothes, guys, too. Yeah. Yeah, I do that all the time. The oh. churches sometimes give out, that's you know, great. free stuff. I'll take it all and, and I'll give it to people that I know. You will definitely get blessed it. just for doing the good deeds. I yeah, know you're not I looking for nothing. No, you will right. definitely get that blessed part, for that. Yeah. You know? I don't even look at it like that. I just, yeah. God, I guess, have that gift on me because I'm a real giving, giving person. When I give... It makes me feel, I guess that's my high or something. I don't that's like to say that, but yeah, yeah. I love it. It feels like I just this, And then the appreciation that I get from the person or the people that I give to, it's, mm -hmm. it's great. It's Aisha, great. how you feel about the woman that's working the corner, selling their bodies just, just to make the extra couple of dollars, man? How you feel about, you know, man, them doing what they do, man? Man. How can I say this? Um, I don't look down on nobody about nothing. Everybody has a story. Um, everybody 
you know, I've talked to them too. I, I've been around them. I, I see what they do, what they go through and dealing with stuff like that is hard. A lot of them was good and straight, got kids and mm -hmm. they happen to come, have to come and, and do stuff like that. See that if it's not to feed their kids, it's to feed their addiction. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not, um, that's hard too, especially yeah. hearing their stories, how some men is, uh, you know, they're getting raped. Yeah. They're getting, um, you oh, know, man is ridiculous. Yes, and it, and they're they're getting bounded. You see them with the black eyes. With yeah. the, it's hard. That hurts me. That touches me in a whole different way. I have seven girls, seven girls, four seven boys. Girls. So, you know, stuff. When I do come in and see stuff like that, I always talk to my kids about a lot. It's an awareness. It definitely is. It keeps me my eyes open to a, a lot of things when people go through. I don't look down on nobody. Like I said. For nothing but that situation i know it's hard Hell it's yeah. it's hard because men put well i don't i'm not saying not any any men but I hate that they have to go through the stuff that they go through just mm -hmm. to try to keep their self you know above water i guess yes yeah. do you know yeah. any of the girls that worked the corners personally that disappeared yeah, and never came back none that disappeared that i know of i mean i heard yeah. i heard you know but I do know some of them personally that okay. been through a lot of things that yeah. got raped or, or got kidnapped or, yeah. or, you know, things they tell me they're, you know, stuff that happens, you know, oh, I was in Atlantic City. This guy had me in the room for such and such, such and such. He was doing this and that. It was That's crazy. bad. I hear a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stories like that. Man. All right, Aisha, um, we're going to wrap it up, man. Is there anything you want to tell the people? You know, that fall victim into the streets or that's having a hard time. You got any advice for them? It's not what you do. It's how you do it. And you just know that it's, it's hope. It is hope. And then one day if you get when you get tired, it's, it's like when you get tired of being sick and tired, it, that's when, you know, I guess people come to that yeah. conclusion that, OK, I'm ready to get up and get out of this and get myself together. Then you got some people that just that's it's their it's their life. You can't save them. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Can't make but, them drink it. All right. All right, Aisha. My name is ATM Bree. Mm -hmm. Guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for your time, and we out. All right. It's a danger zone. You in the middle of a world only a banger home.